Next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? When you look beyond the darkness, tell me what do you see? It's your boy T I N Y to the P. Yeah, he's looking for trouble here on Twitch.tv with Crash or Jade or Spyro or Leon Kennedy. Is there a new game to start? Is he doing some art? Maybe knowledge of an 80s children's show to impart? Cause he's mentiferous, vigorous, rigorous. He's damn vociferous and arting or Mario Karting. He's very carnivorous. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. With a great rate of safe states debating his fate, Peter's greeted by emotes of cheaters when people donate. Give him a yeah. or a whoop, and we'll build up the hype, and I'll struggle to read half the words that you type. So are you ready to go? Come on, what will it be? Are we gaming or painting or watching dated kids TV? Grab a bite, crack a slight, dim the light, sit tight, cause the stream's about to start, and the mics sound right, boy. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. Boy. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. It sounds right, boy. Hello. Oh, I nearly went back to the title screen there. Hello, hello, how's it going? Uh, are we all well? How are we doing? Welcome to the live stream. It's me, Peter Austin. Um, you all, you all good. I hope you're doing fantastically on this Monday afternoon. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon, Peter Austin. How are you today? How was your weekend? Happy Monday. The new Worst Games Ever and After Dark podcast were fantastic. It's going to be a fun stream. Hope you are having a lovely day. Thank you very much, Stephen, for the bits. I'm glad you enjoyed Worst Games and After Dark. Someone else messaged me earlier today saying um, they thought Worst Games Ever was... Um, like, a, I don't know what phrase, I can't remember exactly what phrase they use. Like, the, be the best in a long time or something. I think I got a, 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 a tweet on threads, whatever it's called, just a, a post, or maybe it was on Twitter, I think it was on threads. Uh, you can follow me on threads now if you want, that Peter Austin is just the same, same as my Instagram account as it is for everybody. So uh, if you got Instagram or threads, that Peter Austin, you can follow me on there. Um, I've, I've done a bit of cross posting, so the stuff I posted on Twitter I've posted on there and vice versa, and some stuff I've not, I've posted different stuff on different uh, apps. So. If you want to keep up with everything that I'm doing, you can do that if you want to. It's fine if you don't want to. Whatever. Duo Goliath, thank you for gifting a sub. Um, it's gone to Just Cross, taking you up to 506, 656 uh, gift subs. That's palindromic. I like it. It's great. Um, and Stephen Skodes has gone up to 855 with a gift sub to Tone Rex or Tona X, possibly. Who's to say? Tone Rex is to say it's exactly their choice and their choice only. Um, Last Choice ID has uh, subscribed for 33 months. Hi, de hi, everyone. It's my 33 month subversary. Congratulations. Google says it's uh, that it, it, it. Google says that is over 24,000 hours. Imagine if I did something productive in all that time, or rather, don't. Uh, would much, would much rather spend it with you guys, lol. Uh, well, there you go. Thank you for spending over 24,000 hours with us. Last choice ID. It's much appreciated. Lord Brotovich says, I'm sorry, Peter. I'm legally not allowed to do that. Unless you're in the EU. Are you, uh, can you not? Uh, we should make our own EU threads. I did not know this. Can the European Union not sign up to threads? Or is it just not launched there yet? Um, huh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that a bunch of you aren't there yet. Um, 
Yeah, the EU don't have threads. Threads is still not allowed in the EU, says Laura Brotovich. Well, I tell you what, just for that, I will cross post everything onto Twitter because I did not know that people in the EU don't have threads. Um, sorry to hear that. I wonder what I've posted that you guys have missed. Probably nothing important. I posted the same thing. Uh, I posted the thing about Star Wars on both. Um, I've really not done that many threads at all. Uh, I could probably count them on one hand. Yes, I could. Um, one is specifically about threads, which will be useless to you. One was a stupid thing. Uh, here you go. What about this? Roses are red. Oh, roses are red. Violet sub. Is that gonna even? Is it? Has it got any hope of focusing? No. I pull it back. Cover my face. No. Don't look at my face. Look at that. No. You can just see stream chat in perfect focus in the reflection. What if I cover that up? There you go. It was trying to focus on the word stream chat. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Blue. Watch this morning chef admits accidentally eating cat poo. That's the kind of quality you're missing out on, I'm afraid, on my threads account. Um, but sucks to be European, I guess. Uh, God bless Brexit, am I right? Oh, thank God we're out of, you know, all of those like workplace laws and environmental targets and things, you know, I'm <laughs> screw the European Court of Human Rights. I'm glad that I can post stuff about poo on threads. Um, there we go. Uh, good. Get a VPN if you want cool content like that, says Mr. Black. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so yeah. thank you to Vatman Fan Drew. Well, the FOMO was just too much, so I've finally given in and got the old COVID-3 and oh, no. years into the pandemic. I can report that it truly bites bum. Yeah. Hope you all feel better than I do this fine Monday. Oh, well, just a moment. I'll get to that in just, just a second. Um, yeah, we had last choice ID. Batman fan drew 50 months. Where has the time gone? Look at you, half a year now mm -hmm. subscribed. That's great. Thanks very much indeed, Batman fan drew. Um, and then, uh, so Trillian Jones, you've got COVID three and a half years after into the pandemic. I mean, yeah, I did the same thing three years into it. I got it in um, about April for the first time, and yeah, it really did bite bum. And that was with me, you know, I, I had. Two jabs have I had? Yeah, I don't think we... Did they do third jab? I can't remember how it was. It all seems so long ago now. I think I've only had two injections, right? Is that the normal thing for a 30-year-old male in the UK to have had? I've had whatever the normal expectation is. I don't think we get boosters, do we? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, but I had the jabs you're supposed to get, and uh, I just, I'm, t I'm glad I had them, because if I didn't, theoretically, it would have been a hell of a lot worse, and it was not good. Um, in terms of, in terms of just you know, cold and flu-like diseases, it's probably the worst I've ever had. Um, so that sucked, but hey, I got through it, and I'm sure you will too, Trillian Jones. Look after yourself, and thank you for the bits. Um, and hopefully you can you can rest up a bit and just enjoy enjoy some streams and some videos and stuff, and uh, you'll be you'll be better soon. The average adult got three jabs. This forgotten media. Oh, yeah, okay, two. Two, oh yeah, because it was a two-part. The first one was like a two-parter, wasn't it? You had to do it like, didn't you go? You went twice, like two weeks apart or something like that. I, just, I don't remember. Um, yeah, and then a booster. We yeah, that's right. Um, good. Well, um, I like how you guys know like the me the medical procedures I've had more than I do. I was just shrugging. Like I've had some inject. Someone injected me with something. I don't know what it was, and I feel fine. Um, uh, good, well, yes, and then Steven Skoda has gifted a sub, taking him up to 856, crikey, that's gone to El Pesadente, thank you Steven for your second gift of the day, it's much appreciated. Um, so, today everyone, we will be finishing, so it should be, it should be, those of you who are observant and are looking at your calendars, and I'm sure you probably already have it written in your calendar, it's such a highly anticipated event. It should be an art stream today. It's the second stream of the month for me, and that is the rule, second stream of the month. But I just thought, look, we've got like probably less than half a stream's worth of Sly Cooper left to complete. And I was like, I'm not going to sit for another week and do an art stream and then finally get around to Sly next week only to play it for 50 minutes and then for it to be the end. So we're doing Sly today, and actually it's come at 
just the right time because at the same time uh, I have been told by Ashton's Ben MB or AB in the case of Ashton's Ben um, about a, a new mod that's, that's been released for Spyro One. So if you emulate Spyro One on your PC, you can you can like mod the 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 ISO, and uh, it's this, like great like challenge run with timers and like weird abilities and random randomized level orders and stuff um it's super fun i've played a tiny tiny bit of it just to make sure it worked but uh i've, I've barely touched it but um yeah super exciting it's called pete's gauntlet so i mean it's made for me literally um because you don't actually play as spyro you play as a texture swapped spyro um who is green and that is a reference to the fact that early on in development the dragon in Spyro the Dragon was going to be called Pete the Dragon, so presumably the game would have been called Pete the Dragon, um, and he was green, but they decided not to keep him as green because he was sort of blending into the grass uh, in a lot of the grassy levels, particularly in the opening the opening sort of hub world and the levels thereon, therein. So um, they changed him to purple and then decided let's call him Spyro, possibly because of, I don't know if it's because of legal issues, because of Pete's Dragon which is a, what's that, a film or a book or both or something? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, he became Spyro. And, uh, but yeah, you play as Pete, the alpha protagonist, alpha in, in every sense of the word, um, and do some, some fun Spyro challenges. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish off Sly for the first half of the stream. Then I'm probably going to hit stop and restart the stream just to make it easier VODs wise. And uh, we will play some Pete's Gauntlet and I will show you how much of a pro I am at Spyro 1. We're racing through these things without the ability to flame in some places, without the ability to charge. Sometimes it actually helps you and it, it makes you run even faster than normal, or you can like, you have total free flight and you can just fly all over the level. It's crazy. I'm excited about it, but we should finish slide first. Um, I would recommend using save states for the last boss, says Scarf of Jericho. Oh, okay. Well, let's play some Sly. Um, a new mod. Yeah, yeah, joining the mod squad. It's Pro Pete Spyro the Master. Dragon. Peter Austin, TTJ Spyro Peter. <laughs> Thank you for the bits there, Stephen. Pro Spyro Master Peter Austin, TTJ Spyro Peter. Uh, and level one on, on the uh, hype train as well. Thank you, everybody. Um, so, let me... Um, Oops, if uh, let me open the emulator for Sly Cooper. Here it is. Boot fast. Oh, it's 420. I forgot to turn it off from last time. It's because it, when it times out, it just disappears, even though it's still switched on. And then when you come back to the scene, <laughs> it's uh, it's on again. Um, so, is this it? Yes. I said I was going to start from the beginning of the hub, but given that we've got something else to play now, I think we're going to go straight into where we were. So, we're basically making our way to the fortress of the big bad. Um, so, that was for you up there from Lobrotovich, who is, uh, because it is one of my streams, of course, so he has to resub today. 53 months, currently on a 53 month streak, which is insane. Uh, resub time, sick, for 53 times as well, which is a bit more than last year, I guess. Well, I'm going to turn into a puddle now because of the heat, trademark. Also, Peter, if you want to set up an email newsletter just for me, you don't need to double post the things you only post on threads. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I can't see past my microphone here. Let me just move it to the side. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yikes. What? That thing just killed me. What? What was that? Touched this and it... It knocked me into the lava. Okay, I don't know. So... Oh, yeah, I can go invisible, can't I? I was wondering how... Oh, what? What shot me? What's going on here? Oh, stuff is still shooting. Those things are shooting me. At the far end, even when I'm invisible. So, what can I do here? 
Uh, what? Ah. Oh, God. Okay. I'm not spotting any of these hazards until I die. I have to die to everything uh, before I realize. So we jump on here. Where do we go from here? Oh, over there. Okay. Oh! Oh, and that's slippy. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning through exploration and death. Oh, God, and this just spins you right round into the... Oh, it's spooky here. It's really spooky. Um, we've got a couple of subscriptions there. Um, which I'll read just as soon as I feel like I'm not going to flipping die to everything. Where on earth am I jumping, jumping now? Oh, there, there's a hook. A hook. Okay. Uh, I can't move the camera up and down, so I can't really see where I'm going. Can I just do I do I do a leap of faith that in that direction? Do you think? And I look and go over here now. Sort of. Oh no! You have to go backwards to go forwards, sort of thing. Got a nice cup of tea here. Wow, I've got a full game over there for all those all those fails, but at least I now know where I'm going to begin with. I guess the trick is just to oh, jump in the vague direction of where I feel I ought to be going and then just keep mashing the circle button, which is basically the do anything stealth related button. It's how you hook onto stuff, it's how you how you perch like that. It's how you walk along narrow you do your, you do your shimmies. Your shimmies. Can I reach that one? <gasps> yes. And then what? Am I jumping onto that little slippy, slip and slide? Yes, I am. Oh, it's not even a slip and slide. It's a ramp. Okay, good. I'm going to save state there. I can't. I'm not, in the, I'm not in the window. Right. Let me read these alerts. So the Quetzal... Or Quetzal. Hi, Peter. Did you read the Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters comic? How did you like it? Keep up the good work. Do you know what? I've not actually read... I was thinking about that only the other day. It's right behind me on the shelf. Problem that I had is that I... I think um, I received it just around the time... I had moved into this place, but I'd not started to set this room up yet, and I'd not bought this shelf. I'm glad I did a save state. Um, and then I, I bought this shelf just after... Um, this thing over there is, is going to shoot me if it sees me, but can I just... Yeah, okay. I bought this... Um, oh, no. I bought this shelf just... I'm not paying attention here. Oh, and that can kill me, can it? I thought the lights couldn't kill you even when they were on. On red. Um, I bought... I'm trying to say... I bought this shelf a little bit after that... Uh, post some tat and I ended up you know filling it with with lots of things nerdy things so I've got my you know that's a Vidiot's Bay that's a Spyro one I've got some more games in it that's Triple Jump and that's um, like Saturday morning cartoons and stuff and, and, and similar and there's more stuff in these bays behind me and one of them is a Star Wars one in fact I'll show you the Star Wars one if I can this is the Star Wars one. Can I go full screen? Face cam. This is Star Wars. And it's right here. War of the Bounty Hunters. And so I put it there. <laughs> and then I haven't read it because it's been on the shelf, kind of out of sight. But the other day I was thinking about it. I was like, oh man, I've got that War of the Bounty Hunters comic. And it's pretty much one of the only comics I've ever wanted to, I've ever had a, a proper hankering to read in Star Wars, Star Wars land. Um, I'm aware that there are actually many good comics, but, um, you know, it's not something I, I think about that much, but yeah, I, I've heard it spoken about a lot on like Star Wars Explained and stuff. And so I've always quite fancied, and now, I've always quite fancied looking at it, giving it a, giving it a read, but, um, 
Oh, right, I've got one of these now. Oh, nice. Um, and then, yeah, I received it in person tat and I uh, haven't got around to it yet, but it is something I would like to, to give a try. Oh, I should have. Oh, no. Well, yeah, is this okay? No. It's not okay. The lasers can still kill me. Man, I'm glad I'm flipping save stating so much here. This is brutal. Yeah. Change the screen, Peter. Oh, sorry. The worst part about that is not that, not just that I am, um, I'm playing without you being able to see, but that I'm also not checking the chat often enough to see that everyone's saying, Peter, change the flipping screen. Uh, and then someone has to, ooh, fell through the flipping floor then. Uh, and then someone has to pay actual bits in order to alert me to change this, to change the screen. Uh, forgotten media, thank you so much for those bits and for the heads up. Um, it's like a South Park joke, watching an epic battle we can't see. Uh, good, well, um, So, yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't end up playing. Uh, I haven't ended up reading the Star Wars yet, but I will do. Sure. Um, I'm very pleased to own a copy. Um, aliens, Alien Swat Hands. Uh, subscribed by Prime for four months. Four month streak. Now that you can see the game, I'm not even playing it. That's just how this works. ATP, I'm only on a four month streak. Hey, there's no only about it. Thank you for being on a four month streak. That's great. But I've been watching you guys religiously on YouTube for a couple of years now. Thanks for all the fun. Well, thank you for being subscribed for four months. That's a commitment that is just as much a commitment as any uh, subscription. So thank you very much for that. Um, Forgotten Media, thank you again for the bits. That is very much appreciated. Um, Forgotten Media got hustled by Peter. The old wrong screen shakedown. That's it. It's actually just a scam. I do it occasionally on purpose just to raise a bit more money for the channel. That's not true. It's not. It's just me being, me being silly, silly boy. Um. Right there we go. Smash. So there's a barrel here. This is what you missed. I grabbed the barrel. And I walked it down here, and then I walked straight through all of those searchlights because I thought, oh well, that's fine. If I keep still. Uh, okay, that's it. Yeah, because it introduced this barrel mechanic ages ago, didn't it? Um, yeah. I think we've only used it We're once. We're still here, Peter. Even if you don't read chat, TTG Dick salute. I promise I do read chat. I just don't read it often. It like I don't. Oh no, I don't read. You know every message. Oh God. It's like, oh my jeez, this this is like really tough. Imagine if I didn't have the save state. Oh, I forgot about the... Okay, we've got to do this with the alarms on now. No. Oh. Okay, good. Oh my god. Right, don't set this alarm off. Thank you for the bit, Stephen. Oh, I assure you, I do read chat but I read it in chunks, you know? Hello, game? Hello? No, stop. There we go. I, uh, I, I come back to chat every, sometimes I do, you know, I glance, I glance over, uh, often, sometimes, and then sometimes I'm glancing over less often, and then I'll, I'll read it in a big, in a big lump sum. Ridiculous. Oh. oh, this one's really quick. Okay, there we go. Hop. Smash. No, just smash the f slide, please. Just break the thing. Thank you. Oh. So yeah, Carmelita is stuck in here. Hey, Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. 
<laughs> you said a metal fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. Oh no. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Haven't had to do this in a while. Oh my god. Okay, I use the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those three data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh, I took damage doing that. Okay. Wait, what do I? I wasn't listening. What do I do? Do I, do I hit it? Do I shoot it? Do I? Uh, okay. We. This was alluded to in the at the end of the last stream, wasn't it? That um. Okay, you do just run into it to pick it up, I guess. Um, that, that Bentley would be in here. Oops. I was reading a guide, wasn't I, I think, and it said something about how... Oh, that it will take the whole team to, uh... You know, to, to save the day in the final... Oh, oh. Oh no. I had iframes, so I only took one one hit there, but oh, that's it. Dead. Try again. Okay, well at least we know now, because I think I lost it lost the hit point at the beginning when I really shouldn't have done. Before I knew better. Okay. Level two! Can I can I kill this thing in the middle? No, I just have to Oh, dodge it. Dodge it stuff. A nice touch though, giving you know, letting you play as Bentley at the end. Just makes me wonder why they didn't just use these exact me well I, I guess because it's just this game isn't it like you wouldn't want to play this specific mini game over and over at least with the like the racing you have a different track and oops different enemies and stuff whereas oh no whereas if they, they just inserted this exact mini game over and over again I don't know, you could have built some different sort of courses with different different obstacles and stuff maybe it's more more effort than it was worth but yeah, they could have they could have done it so that Oh no, that every time Bentley Man, okay. We might need to start doing some cheater Austins here, I think. Um But yeah, whenever Bentley has hacked anything so far in the game, they could have jumped into one of these mini games. I don't know, I probably would have been probably wouldn't have liked it if they'd done that. I'm just an idea that I've said without thinking about. Level three. Level three. Steven Skoda has gifted level three subs to. Uh, I I can't salute right now, and I can barely even read them because it's real scary in here. I'm shooting at these as I come towards them because they, they, they just get knocked away. Oh no! Wait, what? Did that? How many HP did that knock off? I feel like that glitched and it just hit me for hit me for like four HP. I hadn't been hit yet, had I? I? I took one hit just then and then I got shot. It seemed to kill me. Maybe if that thing hits you from behind, you die. Instant, you die in real life. Um, Steven's gift subs have gone to Dr. Goblin, NZL Matt, and Dylan. Taking Steven up to 859 gift subs. Thank you, Steven, for your gift subs. 
Oh, it's scary here. No. Why did I shoot the one next to me? It's a terrible idea. It wouldn't be so bad if this, this flipping owl wasn't coming at me all the time. There's a Twitter trend, isn't there? Something about owls on Mondays. Owlish Mondays, is it? That's that's why I've been playing um, Sly Cooper this whole time. I, I, I didn't mention it before now because I didn't want anyone to, you know, get distracted by it. But we play Sly specifically because it's Owlish Mondays. Oh, good grief, it's bad in here. It's It's so scary. If I just stay on the move, then the red one isn't much of a problem. But then the green stuff is like it's like the opposite effect. Like the more you move, the more trouble you're gonna find yourself in. Charging into Oh, I didn't see that one, it's behind my microphone. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, there's still one here. Safe state. Oh, that's it, 13. Okay, well, I didn't need to save state in the end. I mean, I've done one, but... Right, a daring rescue. 69%, nice. Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Oh, okay. We're friends now. Off she goes. Okay, got to follow her. It was a Bentley game for the PSP or the Vita, a hacking game. Oh, really? Hmm. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Karma Lita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed. I feel really guilty that the cell shading is is like this because of the resolution I've got on the emulator. I feel I feel I ought to feel guilty about it because this is normally such a beautiful game and I've definitely made it look worse. Um, and that's on me. It's been in my family for generations. Oh, they took my cane. Jeez, the loudest vibration in the world. Make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before clockwork left me. Now that we're a team at all, I can't leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. There he goes. So now I, I presumably can't use my cane. Oh, wait, what? He just died. I thought it was a cutscene. That was not made obvious at all. Wait, what's going on? What? Oh, oh, I see. I'm, I'm Carmelita now. Oh, God. Okay. Right. These guys really do come out of nowhere, don't they? I hate how close the the gun is always zoomed in on these shooting segments. You just can't see anything like more than about three meters ahead of or behind. We've got all these grimers coming at us. Jeez. It's a nice touch though, is you know, because we've we've done this already. Been doing some shooting before as Sly. And uh, now we get to watch Sly platforming around the place. It's fun. I did not realise it. <laughs> I did not realise I was in a, a mini game though when he first do I, do I do? When this first started and he just slid down and died. Oh no! Oh, God. Always blown up my phones again, yeah. Actually, 
Ben blowing up my phone. He is, he is the boy in this situation. Ooh. Oh, no, hang on. Yes. Okay. No! Oh, god damn it! I should be shooting those from the beginning. I think I can probably target those almost immediately. Whenever there's any downtime. Might wait till uh, it's a bit closer to the top. Oh, he had a charm as well then, and I wasted it. I knew about that guy. Oh, did, did I get the owl already? I think I did, okay. Got him as well. <laughs> Christ. Okay, he's got a charm. I'm gonna wait till he's sort of a bit closer to the top. If he's still got his charm, I'm gonna do a save state because, uh, man, it's certainly. certainly harder <laughs> this last world than anything else in this game which you know is the way video games go generally you get to the you get to the last level and or the last world and things start to get tough but Safe state. I'm going to do a safe state now. I've, only, I've got no lives left as well, so. He dies, he dies. I see a, a green glow. I think that's the end of the thing. Okay, good. I mean, this looks a bit like it could be the. Right? Electronic support field for the death ray got destroyed as you were making a run for your cane. You'd better hurry. This whole thing is about to fall apart. I'm on it. This looks like it might be the final boss. This is he's controlling himself here. This isn't me. I'm not doing this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> climb, slime. Uh, I'm not doing this as dramatically as I should be. Oh, okay. Thought they were just turning on behind me, but no. Uh, I think if I try again, it'll just give me five lives from the start of this area. Yeah, it does. Okay, can I skip this? It's falling apart fast. Climb, slide, climb. Okay, is this right? That's these are just going on intermittently. So I need to just watch what they're doing. Okay. Oh wow, it's actually sinking. This is fun, I like this. The, the whole world is actually oh, sinking. I 
have to be pretty quick. Okay, that's fine. I didn't realize that I was about halfway up that it really is sinking. Okay. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Keep moving. Bash. 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 Oh, I risked it. And it was worth it. Oh, I've got to do an upward slide now. Slide Cooper. Uh, climb the pipe. Oh, what? Okay. Jeez. This is cool, but it's tough. Oh no, that's live. Okay. And I guess I've got to do it all in one, have I? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Okay, um, good. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna get some, some lives back. I'm gonna jump in, jump in the lava. How many, how many lives have I got? Oh no, never mind. I'll just, oops. Just carry on. I sort of messed up the the earlier things before the before the swingy or the swingy rings. I messed it up a bit. Okay. Sometimes you just get lucky on the on the electric gates, and the, they just they just open for you just when you need them to. Oh no! What? Come on, game! I pressed circle. No! Okay, that was on me. Jumped too soon. This is this is difficult. Okay. Here we go. What? Really? I stopped. Assuming these cycles reset at the start of each, you know, whenever I die, I wonder if that first gate I can actually, if I just head straight for it, I might be able to get through it before it switches on. If I can establish whether that is the case, that would be good to know. I'm just jumping too soon on that. That's just on me. Just going straight for it without really looking. Okay. I'm going to run straight for this first gate. See if... No, you can't. You can't make it through. I'm going to jump in the lava. Reset. Death abuse. Um, well, that's good to know. At least I know that I have to wait at that first gate. You can't, can't get through it straight away. That's, as I said, that's assuming these cycles are resetting whenever you die and respawn, which they might not be, but... It does give you a little visual clue as well when they're about to switch on. It sort of sparkles a bit. Okay. We got this bit down. Got this worked out. Well, oh, I keep forgetting this is slidey to jump up against gravity. There we go, okay. I am up here. That's about to go off, which is good. Right, now let's just think about this a bit more carefully. Oh, hang on. The rider. Oh. 
over and jump. Okay. Fortunately, I had some time to play with there because I've been quick on the, the earlier bits. Right, this is all this is all no man's land now. I'm going to save it. Oh, it's not quite no man's land, is it? I remember I've done this bit already. Oh, yikes. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oof. Did not expect those to be so close together. Uh, where now? Just, what, onto here? No. Uh, Sly, he's still alive. I don't think I should be here. Where do I go from there? Oh, no. Climb, Sly, climb. Okay, so the whole thing falls apart. I might... What? what? Oh, okay. Just, just sort of onto the scenery. <laughs> right. Strange reunion. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting the day when I will finally eclipse your family's thieving reputation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Okay. Uh. All right. I see. I'm flying backwards. Wait. Hang on. How do I? How do I aim this? I can aim it left and right. I'm really. Oh, you can sort. Uh, okay. Uh, that's that's kind of strange the way it aims up and down. But sure. Where are the gaps in his armor? Are they the twinkly bits? Okay, that's kind of strange. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We we attack the the sparkly bits. What the hell was that? Something just blindsided me there. This bit sucks. Says Ben in the chat. Okay. Did I get hit by Carmelita's... Is she shooting gaps into his armor? From afar? Because some, some missile just came in there and hit him on the feet. And I swear that that projectile is what took me out earlier. I don't know, maybe I'm... Just misunderstanding it, but... Yeah, it looks... Yeah, she, she is shooting it from a distance. Making gaps for me. Okay, I'm safe stating this because everyone in the chat is telling me that this is not an easy boss fight. And there must be a lot more to it than that. I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I must have been so worried about your precious book. The Cooper line was nothing. Ah, uh, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Whoa. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. <gasps> and the Cooper line. Clockwork. 
of the same now, is it? Oh, Jesus. What fresh flipping... What in the halo ring was that? Oh, I've got to watch this again now. I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much... This is a difficult boss fight, Peter. I've never played it or seen it, but I'm just going on what chat has said. Yeah. Right, I'll save it just before the... This conversation ends. It takes, the Thieves Raccoonus doesn't make great thieves. Great thieves. Great the Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. And the Cooper line will be erased and they only must be for me. Right, saved. So, do I fly through this ring? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't even need to shoot him at the moment, but I can now. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the way that they spin like that. It's very off-putting. If he just fired straight rings at me that weren't spinning the flip around like that, I'd feel a lot safer. I'm like clipping through a lot of these. Like, if if the game had like perfect hit detection, I would I wouldn't have gone through any of them. The depth is quite difficult to to work out. I'm glad that it's somewhat forgiving. Okay. And I'm sure that's definitely it. I am the, the danger. Oh! Man, I wish Sly Cooper had a couple more hit points. No, that, it's that same one just hit me twice. Oh, okay, that's... Very much just my fault there. Okay. Uh. Alright, there we go. Oh! Oh, I didn't. Oh, did you have to hold it. I always forget what you have to hold and what you don't have to hold. I've been holding it down on all of the rails I've been walking on, and then when I've let go, he's stayed on the rails, and I'm like, oh yeah, you just have to press it to, oop, to perch. But when you're shimmying, I think I have to hold it down, otherwise he just flops off the edge like a big idiot. Oh, they can just go right through that scenery, okay, fine. That's absolutely fine. Right. Now remember how good I am at these floor lasers. The best, for some reason. I don't, I don't quite understand how I can do this. I think they're just very forgiving, actually, because <laughs> I was. It looked like I was touching them for sure. Feet uh... together. Oh, okay. Set that one off. Do I just whack it? What's happening? Okay. It took some tricky maneuvering. Oh, is that the end? Have I done it? Snatched that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's claw. Sequel introduces a hit bar slash points. Fox. That's good to know. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Nice. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. Best thing they have is the sequel, a health bar. Yeah, that would be great all. to have. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. Ah, it's the Thank friends we made family. slash Without kept having made them never found before the game along the way. Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Hey, she's brought the handcuffs. Clockwork's death ray is out of commission. We're back to playing cops and robbers. 
I thought for sure she was gonna slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, And then she just One. blows his brains out. Oh my god! I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. Yeah. Good grief, it's warm in this room. Well, hey, there we go. That was the definitely 106% completion of Sly Cooper. But hey, don't go anywhere. We're about to play some Spyro the Dragon, but some interesting and unique Spyro the Dragon. If you've just joined us, um, we're gonna be playing the Pete's Gauntlet mod of Spyro 1. But there we go. Um, Forgot Media says there was a real person's face on that computer, a developer Easter egg. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, it's Haven Call of the King all over again. Yeah. Oh, look at these guys. These are some mods. They're not mods, developers. Lovely. Well, I'm going to just abruptly hit escape on that and just, yeah. Do, oh, isn't that pretty? Look, I've got two cursors and everything. Uh, there, I've closed the emulator. <laughs> Um, so, please stay where you are. All I'm going to do is stop the stream, change the data, the metadata, so that it says we're playing Spyro, and you know, change the category and stuff, and the name of the stream, and then I'm just going to hit start streaming again. So stay right where you are. I'll be back in about three minutes, um, and we'll be playing some Spyro the Dragon, and I'm very excited. Um, cool. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Bye. Uh, if you're watching on the VODs channel, do go somewhere, go to the other VOD that's on the VODs channel. But if you're watching live, stay where you are. Okay, bye.